Sometimes I wonder why they're buying what they're buying, you know, and then sometimes I just think they they have the best eye, you know, they know, uh, have good taste, and and it's just interesting. But everybody has their own thing that they like, and I, the people that don't collect things, I just sort of feel sorry for them. But here's a bunch of straight razors, which most people don't use anymore. A lot of people think that you know, if you can't use something, there's no point to having it. Labor Day, 1915. So when somebody brings something in, what I do is I look at it and see if I've seen it before, if I know, you know, there's a demand for it. And then uh, I try to figure out what, you know, what I could buy it for. A lot of things that are collectible are just really junk if you look at them. But because they were part of the past and people collected them, uh, some of these rings are worth thousands of dollars. Uh, I like to buy quality, I like to buy old things. I don't want to compete with the new stores or the, the people that sell the, the novelties and uh, collectible stuff. And this is a foot-powered, portable dental drill. And you just get the flywheel going and then there would be cables that would come up and around and then it would turn the drill and then the dentist could do his work. Thing, but we do it all the time. <laughs> you buy something for a dollar and sell it for ten dollars or twenty dollars. People don't realize but when they sell to an antique dealer uh, they can't pay the price that the retail price you know. You gotta buy it wholesale and sell it retail like any business. And if I can't buy it for a price that I, that's under what I think I can sell it for, then I just uh, pass on it. We sell just a little bit of a lot of different things. And it's hard to say, you know, that one thing um, just depends who walks in, what, what sells.